This video is sponsored by PCBWay. I had PCBWay custom print me this model that I made. I designed it myself, and the bottom part is CNC machined out of aluminum, and that's cool because I've never had them do that before. I think it turned out great. And the top part is resin printed out of UTR 8100. It's very, very clear, and I thought that would be super awesome. Oh, that is super cool. All right, we're on PCBWay.com. We're going to hop over to our CNC 3D printing tab. We want to do CNC machining today, so we're going to click on that. And then right here is where we're going to drag and drop our files. So I have a couple files to use. I have this one right here. I'm going to drag and drop this. This is a .step file or step file. And we've got our Dumb Pro 9. Uh, that's the top half right there. First thing you want to do is make sure you put in the quantity. So we're going to say one right there. And then that will give us an initial uh, uh, estimate on the price. So we are going to do aluminum, but you could do stainless steel. You could do brass, copper, titanium, mild steel, steel alloy, tool steel, spring steel, ABS, polycarbonate, nylon, polypropylene, POM, PTFE, PMMA, poly polyethylene peak bakelite fr4 rubber and even carbon fiber although i'm not quite sure how carbon fiber would work for this so probably not that but there are a lot of different options we're going to go with uh aluminum uh and we're going to do hey so it turns out uh pcbwa did get back to me and one of these items will not work and it's uh this one the top half of this dumb pro 9 and here's what's cool is they do say exactly why it failed. So reason failed. There's an internal reverse buckle that cannot be produced. So you, you hear that and you're like, what? But they do show an image. And what they're saying is this part, uh, this kind of in, internal, uh, they call it a, like a reverse buckle. So it sticks out after it goes in, which is kind of strange, right? So if we look at uh, the 3D model view here, so we can look at this, we can rotate it, you see, um, maybe it's a little tricky to see, but right there, you see that, see how it, it like comes back over or under, well, depending on how you look, you're looking at it. So what they're saying is, Hey, we can't see and see this. It's just not going to work. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. Uh, the other one is C and seed. So we'll get to see how the C and C works once they ship it overseas and uh that's okay so what we're going to do is actually take this model and we're going to do some 3d printing options and i know if you've seen me uh make some other stuff you're probably like oh he's going to do it again but that's correct i am going to do it again we're going to go to pcbway.com 3d printing page and let's get our file we're going to put the top half in here this time we're going to use a step file i usually use a stl file for 3D printing because you don't need to use a step because I usually export things as STLs, which maybe I should do more step exporting. Anyway, and once we have it in here, we're gonna go through the same process. Uh, we're gonna select the quantity and I want to do, uh, I do wanna do resin uh, 3D printing. Now we could do like aluminum 3D printing, okay? That could be cool. I have done that before. Um, and that would probably be pretty neat. However, uh, and it does cost quite a bit more. But I really want to do resin and I want to do this UTR 8100 because it's transparent and it comes out very, very clear. So hopefully that will be the same thing this time. And I think it'll look pretty cool having that CNC part on the bottom and then um, whatever we fill inside the GoPro for weight and then we can um, have it be transparent and it'll look cool. So that's what we're going to do and we're going to make sure it's set to spray varnish. Is that even, oh, matte diffuse, that is an option. We're gonna do spray varnish for the surface finishes. Uh, we're just gonna leave it clear like it is. I don't think we need to dye it really. We could dye it, but we're just gonna leave it clear. I think that's gonna look really cool. Okay, no technical drawings, none of these other uh, options here, none of that. Okay, so we're gonna say product uh, description. Uh, I think we, what do we say, it was like vehicles. Uh, uh i don't know other i guess it's it's really kind of not but it's like what do you call that would it be i don't know audio and video appliance maybe it would be i mean it's not a video camera enclosure but does that make a difference i don't know let's see let's see if that makes any difference um and 
that's it. So we're looking at 3186 is the estimate right now. And that was pretty darn simple. And it's also going to sh get shipped out faster, I think, this way. So let's submit request. Uh, make sure we agree with these uh, 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 agreements here. And shibwam. All right. And now let's see here. Okay, there we go. So now we have the new one and it the status is being reviewed. So now I can just take the old one and just remove that order. Boom. There you go. So let's uh, grab our next part. This is going to be the bottom half of this. And uh, we're going to, again, just basically go through the same process. We're going to say one. We could we could do a different aluminum if we wanted to. Uh, we, 75, 75. I think 70, 70, 75 is probably what we would want, though. Uh, for this surface finish, let's go ahead and say it's anodized. Let's do bead blasted. Uh, but let's make it like red. Yeah, let's just pick red uh and okay and then again we don't have any of these other requirements here you know i just noticed that this file right here is not showing up properly and it says rfq uh, where it should say a dollar amount there must have been something wrong with the file so i went back into uh, fusion 360 and exported the model again as a step file and it should be correct now so let's go ahead and replace the file there we go now it's showing up and now we have a dollar amount right there and you can also see a 3d view of the model that you uploaded right there so that'll be interesting okay cool so now we have a dollar amount for both of those one's 47.69 the other one's 45.06 is what the what the estimate is and uh those are uh, going to be anodized and everything all right cool so now now that we have that we can hit submit request and it's saying make sure your files don't contain any of the following uh, and we say agree and then you can sign in or create an account i'm going to sign in because i already have an account and it's going to take us to our uh, account page and uh, the status is subject to audit so they're going to need to check it out first and make sure that they can do it um, with you know with those materials using that process and everything so i expect uh probably in a few hours um yeah probably in a few hours definitely less than a day i'll get an email or a message on uh like on through the pcb way website and they'll let me know if something will work or not work uh, and whether or not I want to go ahead with it. So that's really all you have to do to order parts from PCBWay.com. So I'll have a link down in the description below this video if that is interesting to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.